Hey everybody, welcome back. Badass Farmer here and today I'm going to be giving you guys a follow-up on our greenhouse. We're getting closer to the point of putting the plastic on so with a little luck we'll get there. So this is phase two so you're not going to want to miss this one. Okay guys, so our structure is 24 feet wide and 11 feet tall at the very tip. Okay, and we kind of roughly estimated where our center point was gonna be because that's where we wanted our doorway. Now you don't have to put your doorway on the center, but that's just the way we did it. You might want it on a side. I don't know, depends on what you want. So I wanna give you guys a close up of the doorway structure because that's what we built first. So you got your two sides. Um, you got your top of the doorway and, uh, and it goes all the way up to the top. Now when you're putting this piece of wood in was also put in at the same time. So this all was one piece all the way up to the top with this in the center. All was one piece. Okay. We brought it out here and we also want to make sure that your floor needs to be level. Okay. If you have a hill or something, no, that's not going to work. Make sure it's all leveled out. That way everything is nice and straight and nice and flat before you uh, before you start doing all this. Um, and the other thing I would suggest that you do is put your weed cloth down because now this is strictly going to be our greenhouse. So we're going to have tables in here. This is where all of our seeds are going to be started. And um, this is going to be, you know, the center point of where everything is starting. And so getting the weed cloth in here first was really important because if you put your structure up first and you got these end walls done, to get this weed cloth in is going to be a pain in the butt. You're going to have to go underneath of it and it's just not going to be fun. So try to plan ahead and um, get the stuff in the ground or, or cover on the ground. And if you're wondering what all those uh, bricks are, concrete uh, bricks, we had to actually put these down because it's it gets so windy out here and I, I think I mentioned this to you guys before you know we're close to the beach it's extremely windy even though we do have the staples on here and we probably have them every three feet or so some of them are closer than that um, that wind you know if we get like 60 mile per hour winds it will find its way underneath of that tarp um, that weed cloth and it, it will start lift we actually had to put this together three times <laughs> three times and every time I came out here and I was like oh my god it's completely all taken up um, it was just a mess so the third time we said you know let's put this stuff down if it tries to blow up out of there those bricks aren't going anywhere so that was a uh, important part so anyway sorry didn't mean to, <laughs> to diverge but um, so getting back to this so once we had the the um, the front entrance framed out we knew what kind of size door we were going to put and then from there we went out and started building the next structure we basically just duplicated the same thing only thing with this one is we had these two pieces drilled in and we use uh, wood screws and let me get a close-up over here because when you screw it in from the bottom it makes it more sound and secure so this is in from here as opposed to coming in that's just the way I prefer to do it and this is all one piece. So from here to here, that's all one piece. Uh, we drilled it in from the bottom um, and then screwed it in here, screwed it in here, and then same thing at the top. And then you can see the, uh, the bracket, the end wall brackets at the very top. Um, and it's nice and secure, okay? It's nice and, and stable. And just one other note we did just to make sure it was as close to the ground as possible, we actually kind of stomped on this bottom two by four just to make sure it was as close to the bottom, you know, and we got it nice and snug. And if it's possible, when you're cutting these out, be as close as you possibly can, maybe a little bit more, like a fraction of an inch or something, um, because the snugger you have it, the snug, snugger, is that a right, is that a word? Uh, <laughs> The tighter it is getting in here, the better it's going to be. The, you know, if you have a, a, a quarter inch gap between 
that uh, end post to the two by four, it's gonna be loose and you know, that's not a good thing. So just one thing to think about. So, and if you look closer here, ow, just bang my head on the two by four. <laughs> um, see, now I can't even think. All right, <laughs> so this is a Yale bracket I was telling you guys. And um, for this one attaching to the wood, we used a wood screw and then for this one it was actually a metal screw okay so the next thing we put up was the uh, hip board these are two by six uh, we bought them at 16 feet and uh, there's about three of them and then we had to cut a little bit extra for the very end um, and the same thing for the bottom for the uh, baseboard same wood two by six um, and uh, we we use carriage bolts to secure it and one thing you definitely want to make sure is these are nice and flat heads if by any chance you get something that um, you know protrudes out too much just use some duct tape because you don't want the um, plastic you know to get snagged on that uh, one thing I did first I just drilled it uh, with the metal drill bit first to make the hole and then I just pushed um, the uh, the bolt through and then hammered it in a little bit that way I got it as flush as possible and the next thing we did um, which you're gonna need are these nail plates and uh, one note I will make to you guys is that we didn't really pay attention um, I should have put this on the other side um, but these are pretty flat so it shouldn't be a big deal but just a FYI um, just to play it safe put it on the other side and then when we ran out of these, these are nice because you know you, you put them up against it, you hammer it in, um, and uh, they, they do a pretty good job keeping one piece of wood attached to the other piece. But when we ran out of these, we had so much scrap wood, uh, I decided to just you know cut a piece of uh, two by six, and then we drilled the uh, two wood screws on either side to keep them attached. Now this is a double wiggle wire track on here. So what it is, is um, we did this because initially we were thinking about doing two separate plastics. One double layer plastic for the top and then a single layer plastic to do a roll up. But um, to make things more simple for us and less moving uh, plastic around, we wanted to do one big sheet just for now um, and then do a second sheet later. And so that's what these two tracks would, would have been for. But and then you have the single wiggle wire track right here and we put the two by uh, four in between the two by sixes so that way the track is nice and straight and you don't have it kind of curving in and this is another connection right here where we had to cut the wiggle wire track um, and connected it there because that was only you know maybe two feet two and a half feet long for this last piece now um, that's something that um, everyone does this differently. Um, again, when you're using these kind of screws, these are metal screws that are going in. T to make things easier, I drilled it first, the holes. I marked where each hole, I think it was every 18 inches, and then, uh, and then uh, just screwed in the screw. So that's pretty much it for now, guys. And um, we're at the point now where we're gonna be putting the plastic on. So uh, we still have to put some of the roll-up pipes together and uh, that'll be an interesting experiment. Um, but don't you worry, I'll give you guys a follow-up with that. So at least we got the, I want to say hopefully the hard work part done, but I don't know, I think the plastic might be the hardest part because um, you got to find a perfect non-windy day and, and for us out here, that's almost like, you know, impossible. So um, yeah. We'll see how it goes, so it'll be interesting, don't you worry. All right, guys, so um, hope you guys are doing your thing out there. It's, it's getting that time again for growing your all your heirloom tomatoes and zucchinis and all that good stuff, so um, we'll be starting to show that soon here, and uh, we're getting closer and closer to growing time. So, all right, guys, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys next time.